everyone, welcome to another video for SimonSaysStamp.com. Today I'm starting out with this stamp set from Lawn Fawn. This is the Chevron Backdrops. And then I also have two pieces of daffodil layering paper from Hewer Arts. These are cut to um, four and a quarter by five and a half inches each. And I'm going to be doing some stamping. And on this one, I'm going to be stamping the Chevron patterns in Butter Bar Midtone Ink from Hero Arts. And then on this one, I'm going to be stamping in Versamark and doing clear embossing. And then I'm going to take the ink, I'm going to add the ink over it, so then the we're going to get kind of like an opposite color effect on each one. So I'm going to head right in there and do that. I'm going to start by stamping the Butter Bar. All right, so I have this one stamped. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other piece as well, except this time I'm gonna be using all Versamark. All right, now I'm gonna do clear embossing. All right, so I have this embossed. The pattern looks like that. I'm going to take some mid-tone, that same mid-tone ink, and I'm just going to start splotching the ink all over it. It turns like a really dark, like, macaroni and cheese powder color. <laughs> I'm just going to lightly go over it with a baby wipe to take the color off that clear embossing powder. All right. So now we have sort of like two tone. You sort of have like two tone effects. All right. So here's a template. Um, that I made on my computer. It's included with today's blog post if you want to download it. So if you're at YouTube, you're going to want to go down to the info bar below and there'll be a link to go to the, today's blog post over at the Simon Says Stamp blog and then you can download this template. So it's going to have like a ray template and so I'm going to cut out both of these and use them as a template to cut out the pieces. All right, I'm going to take some removable adhesive and uh, adhere these down to the front of the yellow pieces. All right, so this is how it's going to work. I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to say one, 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 one. And over here, I'm going to say two, two, two. All right, so I have another piece of scratch paper here that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm going to start with one and I'm just going to cut right along that edge. All right, and then I'm going to remove the template. I'm actually going to go ahead and cover this with adhesive first because then I don't have to worry about adding it later. All right, so now I can take this piece right here and I know it goes up in that top corner. So I'll put that right there. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut out two. Okay, and then this can be pieced right next to the other one. Just like that. All right, so now I'm going to come over and grab one. All right, I'm gonna continue until the entire front is covered. All right, so this is what it looks like. I cut about half an inch off each edge so that I could uh, mat it on the front of a card. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down. All right, just like that. I have some white Nina cardstock that I'm gonna use this stamp set on. This is the Bring on the Sun stamp set from Allie Edwards and Technique Tuesday. I'm going to use this one right here. This is Hello Sunshine. So glad to see you. All 
Alright, I'm going to use the yellow We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper, and I'm going to use the 3 eighths, and I'm just going to take all these corners, and just do the two corners on the side. And I'm going to be adhering this down at the bottom just like that. Alright, now I have these really cute buttons that are new to the Simon store. I think I'm going to use this one right here, it's the most yellow. I'm going to take the glue off the back and it's going to go just right there on the side. I'm taking some May Arts, uh, this is the natural color twine, and I'm going to put it through the button. Alright, put a little glue dot on the back and I'm just going to put that right there just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to tie the twine into a bow. Alright, I'm going to go around the outside edge of the card with white dashed lines. Alright, and there's the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget you can download that template over at the Simon Says Stamp blog. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.